He's lying! Look at him. He's a crow. He wasn't sent here by anyone. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? This map is from Lord Gregor's journal. It was given to me by my uncle, the Sentinel at House Forrester. Beneath the eye of the Ice Dragon. Harida East. You trust this crow? That map could only come from a forester. No one else would know those things. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vies. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She won't cause any trouble. A wildling girl? She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is El Sarah Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean, last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was blindly follow a map. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor went send and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll do whatever you need me to do. <laughs> Good. This place is evil, Garrett. I can feel it. 
There's something wrong with these people. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Holy shit. The knife is in there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, lady. They're saying you'd take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean, someone's plotting against me? Who? Who sent the message? No seal, my lady. No sign, neither. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie can't help us. Not now. What? Why not? Oh, she, she just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? I have to get out of the keep. Or I'm done for. You, my lady? We're in this together, like it or not. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself! Be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mia. The coal boy. Take him. Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have her to thank it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms 
and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no. I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men. But it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forrester! Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny! Ha <laughs> ha! He's the fourth Lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, father! Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> we'll take Ryan too. But you want peace between our houses? Give me my living brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. I should have been here. I should have come home faster. Don't blame yourself, Asher. Blame the fucking bastards outside that wall. Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but this isn't real. The Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. 
Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester, you're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although... You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was just the beginning. I plan to destroy anyone in my way. 
Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Working out that Andros was in league with the White Hills, you showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine. A handmaiden, stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. I knew it! I never should have trusted you! Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Tell me, Mira, who is the fool here? You or I? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick 